Good morning, Saturday morning. Just wanted to share a quick thought. I was doing my devotions this morning and I was reading about the rich man in Mark chapter 10. And as I was reading on, um, after Jesus had ministered to him and uh, walked with his disciples, he was on his way to the cross. And there's a specific verse in there that has you know, very special meaning to somebody like me who was a former army ranger. And the ranger motto being, rangers lead the way. Uh, I, there was a verse, Mark chapter 10, verse 32, which said Jesus was leading the way. And I was reading, where is he leading? He's leading literally uh, in his final week of life and his final moments of life. He's leading the way uh, to the cross. He's, he's out in front of his disciples. He's not hiding in the back, but he's leading the way. And I can't just as I envision the cross and the pain of the cross and the punishment of, of the things that he would endure how amazing it was that Jesus was leading the way. And in my mind, being goofy maybe was, and maybe Jesus, he was the first army ranger, so to speak, because he was leading the way. And I, I just love that. And um, this came right on the, the, the heels of a conversation I had with a ranger mom yesterday for about a half hour. And uh, her son had tried to commit suicide about three years ago. And we were in the hospital together during that time. And talking ranger stuff and stories and and she was just so strong and I was proud of her and she's still strong to this day still trying to figure out her son if you're trying to figure out an army ranger I don't think it's possible but but I think of her uh Jill Stevenson and uh, uh Sue, Sue Penny literally two two sons that didn't come home and then uh you know Dan coming home and then com trying to commit suicide and and so I just was my heart was heavy this morning already and isn't it strange how God works when he leads you to a verse like that that says Jesus was leading the way when you think about those people when you pray for him. And um, the Ranger community being so small uh, and that slogan, that motto being so special, uh, Rangers lead the way. And uh, I mean, it's been years since I was in that battalion, but, but still a part of it. And grateful for the guys that are serving today and the things that they're going through. Uh, only uh, I can hardly imagine because in our time we weren't doing that much. We were busy, but we weren't doing that much. But these guys are living a, a wartime lifestyle, and it's it's very difficult. And so I just want to encourage each one today to come to Christ. And I was just thinking that uh, you know Jesus was leading the way. He was leading to battle. He was going in the forefront where he knew he was going to die. He was not going to survive. And, uh, and today, even today, he's still leading us. He's leading us to the cross, but this time he's already been to the battle. He's already won the war. He's already been victorious. And now he's leading us today on that victory path. And that victory path leads to the cross. And so even today, Jesus is leading the way. Um, and I just wanted to stress that point. It has special meaning to me. And for those that, that understand that, I hope it has special meaning to them as well. I know it will saying that rangers lead the way and in mark 10 32 jesus was leading the way he's uh never leading us someplace he hasn't been he's leading us to a place he's already been and it's at the cross and there he's already won the victory and so we can go sharing that victory as he's leading the way and even today two thousand years later he's still leading and he's leading each one of us to the cross so i pray that this morning we all find our way there through christ to the cross and tomorrow i'll talk about this in, uh, in Sunday morning service about uh, there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Um, and so Jesus is leading the way. Rangers lead the way. And I pray that today as a, as a small family, as a, as a brotherhood, we all uh, meet at the cross where we have ultimate victory through Jesus Christ and the blood um, that pays for our sins. And so I pray everybody has a great Saturday. Gretchen, thanks for the phone call yesterday. You know I love you. And all the Ranger families out there, I love you all. And for all of you that don't know Christ, he's still leading the way. He's still waiting for us to follow him. And he's leading us to victory. And that victory stands at the cross. So have a great day. Rangers lead the way.